Kamala interview. It's a Hollywood Jimmy. And it's an older interview. So hopefully, <clears throat> no ads. They were killing me with the ads this morning. Damn. Here we are in Mississippi at the house of Kamala, the Ugandan giant. His real name is James Harris. We're in Mississippi at his James house. Harris. He's knocking on the door right here. And I'm the only one that actually has ever did an interview at his house. So, uh, you know, uh, James got where he trusts me. And we're going to try to uh, do an interview today with him and talk about uh, several of the people out there who's wrote uh, things want to know more about Kamala. The Uganda Giant, and we're going to try to get some uh, questions out of Kamala right now in his house. So uh, let's go ahead. James Harris, the Uganda Giant, lives here in Mississippi. Come on. This is his home, and we're going to go ahead and talk to him right now. And uh, here, whoa! He <laughs> got his shotgun in his hand. He put down the, put down the gun. He put down the gun. It's me. Oh, it's me. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? What's up, man? What's going on? Come on in, Come on in. Come on in, Come on in, Carol, man. Oh, hey, how you doing? That's just Billy. He's going to be filming this. Oh, oh, oh. Right, come, come on in. Come on in. in. How you doing, James? Oh, good, good. You got a little, little here. You got a little place here. It's kind of small here. Come yeah, on. This, this, this is my home. Yeah, kind of a... Got the living room over here, and it's kind of a, kind of a small area here, James. Yeah, I'm going to... I got to get me a bed. I got to finish picking it up. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah, I'm gonna see I'm gonna put my gun over there. Yeah, you're gonna put your gun over there. Mm -hmm. uh, James is I that shot. I see nothing bad about your house. That shot gonna right stop with that. Uh I think the house would be a little bigger than uh than than you know. My dude came out there with with the shotgun ready in case somebody tried anything stupid. I bear I, I bear don't want no part of that. <clears throat> he gets hit in he gets hit in the head or the chest, that's it. I can't, uh he uh Kamala was ready. Well, it's just the best that I could do, you know, they, they didn't pay me, uh, so I didn't make a yeah, lot I heard, of money. I heard this I man wasn't paid too good back in the yeah. day or something. Big, nice home, but yeah. it, at least with two bedrooms. <laughs> I got so, one, but, but uh, Jay, you know, I mean, your dogs are right now, here in 2010, they're, they're all over Walmart and mm, Target, okay. and uh, right... Okay, it's this old interview, because I knew it was old, because the Kamala, he's <clears throat> gone for a while. 2010 figures. I think I remember seeing um his figs in the store. Cause I remember um when I was little, they had one in the 80s, and they had one in the early. The one in the 80s, that's the LJN, and the one in the 90s, that was the the smaller one, and then they came back with the uh what's the Hasbro's or whatever. Was the Hasbro's or the um was the Steel Jacks? Might have been Hasbro. 2010 might have been Hasbro. As we speak, I, I don't understand where the checks are going to. Or yeah. Is getting all the money. Yeah, it's sad, but it just, I, I just don't understand it. I get a little check, but nothing, it, it might be going out to $2 an hour. You are good. $2? Three months. Terrible. Yeah, but for years, I didn't get anything. Right, right. Well, uh, do you mind if uh, Billy sits down over here? We're going to ask you a few questions. Some of the fans out there has wrote in and asked No, about... make yourself at home. Make yourself right. at home. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Good Last to see time you. I saw you, you was in my house. We did the interview. I was singing. You were singing. You did a good job. Hey, you going to sing for us today? Yeah, I'm well, right. singing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> James Harris, uh, I have some questions from some of the fans out there. That uh, so many questions, and uh, I have uh, one. Uh, how, how long have you been in the wrestling business? I've been in the business for uh, 32 years. 32 years. Mm. And how did you get your name, uh, Kamala the Ugandan Giant? Well, I got the name from Jerry Law. Uh, Jerry Jerry said he had a part in it, but I know he was the promoter at the time. And uh, but I say Jerry Law. Uh, he gave me the name Kimala, K I M A L A. But myself, you know, I like to be creative, so I changed it just a little bit to Kamala, K A M A L A. Right? Yeah. So. You've been in the business a long time. Uh, do you have any regrets? Um, I do. I wish I had been a lawyer. Mm. Uh, 
doctor, a football player, or anything except a wrestler. But at the time when I got in the business, I thought maybe that, you know, it was a get rich quick. I could make a lot of money and get out of it. But that was my thing. It looked so easy. I was watching it on television. And uh, I mean, uh, it looked, looked as if I could make easy money. And that was not the case. Right. So I found out different after I got in the business. So I wish I had been a football player. It seemed like it probably was more justice. Uh, it was more justice in football, basketball, um, any other sport that's ever wrestling. Right. Well, uh, I have a, a question from Paul out of Illinois who wrote, and he wants to know if you've ever seen any illegal activity Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of you know, a lot folks doing dirt in, in all the promotion, the, the small one, the large one, and all of them. But um, I've seen a lot of drugs. You know, I've never been a drug user myself, but I've seen a lot of drug alcohol. I've seen a lot of illegal stuff. But you know, this that's their business, and you know, I'm not knocking them. You know, as long as I kept myself clean. But you've actually seen drug use in the in the dressing room. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see, you see that every day. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, well, what territory was that? Well, I saw it in all territories. Like I said, I saw it. The first time I ever saw uh, cocaine, I was in a mid-sized sport. And I was sitting in the bathroom putting my paint on my face, and I saw this guy, he came in the, in the, in the bathroom and put a line of white powder on the back of the commode. Mm -hmm. And when he did that, he took a straw and snorted up his nose. I knew that was cocaine because I heard that's the way they do it. Right, right. And uh, <laughs> you don't want to throw out any names, or no, I don't want to put my finger at anybody. Right. But it was uh, I can say uh, around from eighty to ninety percent of the rest was uh, did all kind of drugs. Right. And uh, uh, what about your mother and father? I heard your uh, mother was a big uh, inspiration to you. Yeah, mama. Mom was a big fan. She supported me to the end. She loved herself some wrestling, and we never did tell her uh, anything about it was a work. We never did tell her because that would have took the fun out of it. And she been watching wrestling even before I got into it. So uh, anyway, she when she passed away in '98, she died thinking that wrestling was for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about uh, Bill Watts? I heard Bill Watts page pretty good. Is that true? Or Bill Watts was the best payoff man that uh, uh, I've ever worked for. He was the best promoter that I, I've ever worked for. And he seemed, I know uh, most of all promoters is uh, kind of crooked. I guess that's in every business. But Bill Watts was said the Bill best paid better than Vince. Wow. I've ever worked for. Uh, what territory did you go to after Bill Watts? Well, after Bill Watts, I went to a uh, uh, world class WCCW at uh, uh, the Von Erichs and uh, that Dallas. was Texas, right? I went there, and I think I stayed there about a year and a half, and everything was real good there. But uh, Bill Watts was number one. But I, you know, for the I went with the Von Erichs there, and uh, the Von Erichs for them to own the territory. They was some of the best guys that I ever worked with. Oh, that's it? <clears throat> I to see if there's... Oh, it looks like it's a part two. So that's what we want to get into this. Let's see. Okay, I think that's... Oh, this one's ten minutes. Okay, I think I'll come back with um part two. See what else... <clears throat> see what else he's talking about. <clears throat> 